In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful, and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his last and beloved Messenger Muhammad, and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all. This is the first episode in the series entitled Reflections by the Guidance of the Quran. And this episode is entitled An Old Lady. Now, in this series, I will reflect upon events I see in my daily life. In my, in my daily life, I see and hear events around me. And in each episode, I will ponder and reflect upon these events from the guidance of the Noble Qur'an and not by following the guesswork and conjecture of people. Now, in this episode, as I said, it's entitled, An Old Lady. And this event, one day, I was at um, stopping at a traffic light and I looked to the right of me and I saw an old lady looking from the rear window of the of head of the of a car that she was in, and in her eyes, I saw sadness and pain. Now, when I saw this, I felt so compassionate towards this old lady, and I almost cried from looking at her face and the sadness and pain in her face and in her eyes, and. I realized that the pain she was in, it was mental pain. It wasn't physical, it was mental pain. Now, Allah loves the compassionate person. And if we reflect that the first verse from the Rabbi Quran states, in the name of Allah, God, the most compassionate, the most merciful. Now, how to understand this event? from the guys of the Rabbi Quran. But before that, if this old lady seeks help from people around her, then they would make things worse because they are following their guesswork without any knowledge from the Rabbi Quran, the last revelation of Allah God to people. And if she goes to a psychiatric kind of, uh, if she seeks psychiatric help, psychiatrist, now this person would tell her that she has a mental illness, depression, etc. I will give her sedative pills, pills that will keep her sedated, and she and these, these pills would make the matter worse, and will keep her in a, in a state of being stated. If she goes to a person who claims knowledge about religion, then he would tell her that she has kind of uh, she's been kind of under the influence of magic and things, silly things, that the Islam is uh, far away from that. Now, the question arises, who can help this woman, this old lady? Now, if we go to the Rabbi Quran, if we seek help from the Creator, Allah the Almighty, we will see that we can help her from the guidance of the Rabbi Quran. Now, if we reflect upon the Rabbi Quran, we need to ponder and reflect upon the verse in the Qur'an and not just merely reciting them. Now in the Qur'an, in chapter 2, verse 168 and 169 states, O people, eat of that which is lawful and good on the earth, and follow not the footsteps of Satan. Very to you, he is an open enemy. He, i.e. Satan, commands you what is harmful, sinful, and to say about Allah what you have knowledge of. Now these are two verses from the Rabbi Quran. Here Allah states, O oh, people, so this is an addressed to all people, not a certain group of people. Eat of that which is lawful and good, meaning follow the good ways of Allah the Almighty that He instructed you to in the Rabbi Quran. And follow not the footsteps of Satan. So here Allah the Almighty warns us about Satan. And he says, Verily, he is to you an open enemy. So Allah stated the relationship between human and Satan, that he is an enemy. And an enemy, he wants your pain and despair and to be tortured. He does not want your happiness. Allah states further, 
that he, I you say, can command you, but it's harmful to hate yourself and others, and command you these ideas that gives you depression and mental agitation, mental pain, and sinful acts. He whispers to you sinful kind of ideas and perverted sexual ideas, and he whispers to you abusive ideas about Allah the Almighty, Islam and the Noble Quran, the pure guidance of Allah the Almighty. Now, so here, we, by reflecting upon this verse, we realize that this old lady, the source of these ideas that are giving her, now, this old lady, the pain and despair I saw, I saw in her eyes, I realize, by reflecting upon these verses, that the source of this pain, this mental pain she is in, is she, he, he, hearing ideas in her mind. She hears her ideas in her mind, as if she is thinking to herself with these ideas, telling her that you will be abandoned, that nobody loves you anymore, giving her kind of uh, fearful ideas about death, and all these ideas that give her kind of no hope in life and that she's over. Now Allah tells us that the source of these ideas is Satan. Now, we need to understand how does Satan affect people from a scientific point of view. And this is stated in the clear terms in the Rabu Quran. Allah states in the Rabu Quran and teaches us that every person has a companion devil. What's a companion devil? It's a creature a devil assigned to you at birth and stays with you till death. So he's a companion for you in your earthly journey. And Allah was teaches in the Rabbi Quran that every person has a voice of oneself. That's the voice you speak with, and it's the same voice you hear in your head when you are thinking quietly to yourself. Now Allah states how does Satan affect us in the Rabbi Quran in chapter seventeen verse sixty four states and before them gradually, whom you can with them with your voice. So if you take this part of the verse, Allah states that this companion devil, he tricks you and befools you gradually with his voice. So meaning that this companion devil, he talks to you like a person talking to you, and he tries to trick you and befool you with the ideas contained in his voice. Now, somebody might ask, okay, he talks to me, but where is he? I only hear and experience the voice of myself. Allah gives us the answer for this in the Rabbi Quran in chapter 114 verse 4 which states, From the evil of the whisperer who hides. So the Almighty teaches us that this companion devil, he whispers to you, but at the same time he hides from you, meaning that he does not want you to feel his presence. So how can your companion devil talk to you, and he is talking to you, talking to every one of us, at the same time, does not want you to feel his presence. The only way he can accomplish this is if he matches his voice. He makes his voice identical to the one you hear in your mind, your, your own voice. So he matches his voice with regards to tone, frequency, style of speech, language you know, to the one you hear in your head. And, he, and you hear ideas popping up in your head, and you think that yourself is telling you this, while actually the companion devil telling you ideas containing harm, sinful acts, and say about Allah, God Almighty, what you have knowledge of. So this old lady, she's experiencing thoughts in her mind, giving her depression, giving her kind of no will to live. Now, by reflecting from the Rabbi Quran, you realize that the source of these voices is her companion devil. So we see how Allah Almighty helped her. Now, what's the cure for this old lady? The cure can be found also from the Quran by reflecting upon two verses. The first of which is the following. Allah states in the Quran, chapter 7, verse 200, the following. And if an evil whisper comes to you from Satan, then seek refuge with Allah. Verily, he is all here, all nowhere. So Allah states here that the way to help this old lady is that to teach her this, and to tell her that when an idea of this kind of uh, harm, blasphemy, and blasphemy comes in your mind, then seek up to Allah, meaning remember this guidance from the Rabbi Quran you are hearing, and remember 
that the source of these ideas is not yourself, it's your companion devil, which is an enemy for you, who wants your pain and despair, and realize that these thoughts are all untrue, they are false, they are lies designed to hurt you. Now the second step in the cure, Allah says do not follow the footsteps of Satan, meaning do not agree with these voice, do not ponder upon them, do not carry them out. And when you realize that this is an enemy for you, you don't give it the chance to hurt you. You don't think and ponder upon these ideas, you don't believe them nor carry them out. And you think about the Rabu Quran and think about the guidance of Allah that you which contains mercy and uh, good news and knowledge and elevates you in all aspects. So we see, brothers and sisters, the beauty of the Rabu Quran and how by reflecting on the Rabu Quran we can understand everything we see, we hear around us from the knowledge of Allah the Almighty. And to know more details about this topic, please visit my website at www dot quran dash and you can email me at zqur'an at yahoo dot com and may the peace and mercy of Allah be upon you all.